Hello guys, uh, create tutorials here. Um, in this tutorial, I I have a really exciting tutorial actually uh, today uh, because today we are going to do like a, a Twixter beat syncing like uh, yeah like when it comes a beat like bam 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 and then the clip continues it looks really sick in like OECs and montages and mini edits and whatever you edit guys but yeah today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this and this is my way I've seen many ways on YouTube uh, but this is my way so this is what we're going to make yeah guys I, I'm going to put uh, this in the first video because it's going to lag it or it's it lagged really much actually okay so oh sorry about that okay so I'm just gonna drag this to a new composition uh, I'm just gonna copy my song and the color creation just uh, how do I do that uh -huh. new composition just take 94 uh, yeah, it's taking the normal things and then copy it. I'm just gonna copy the everything in. Um, just gonna do this really quick. Okay, so now we got this. So now you just drag in the drag in this this in. I'm just gonna rename my adjustment layer to CC because it's my CC. So guys, uh, what you want to do is just drag in your uh, MV2 clip or whatever game you have actually. Um, uh, so the next thing we're going to listen to the song and we're gonna place out markers uh, in the timeline so we can see where the beat comes and stuff. So I'm just gonna listen to it. To it. Okay, I actually know exactly. And a really smart and quick tip to do. Um, if you don't want to like uh, RAM preview everything, everything uh, like uh, imagine if you RAM preview and there was a beat and then you have to do it all over again and just continue doing that. Uh, what you can also do is just hold control and if you drag the timeline then you can play the song too really good tip I think but yeah now you just click at this thing to drag and make a marker and you just drag a marker there and you just it there you just drag this to second marker and you just Yeah, or you can do Control Eight, I think. No, was it? I think it was Control Eight, but yeah, whatever. We we can just do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one more beat, then I'm out. Okay, so now we have uh, five beats. Um, now we're just gonna check all the all the things again the cc and stuff so what you want to do is just drag in one more cut clip uh, and you want to uncheck that so you can see the bottom layer this layer uh, you want to see where that ends so about there now you just want to check it again and just drag this that we just added in you want to drag it forward so we like like there is a good spot um so it gets like from there to there on the beat if you get what i'm saying so yeah just control shift d or edit split layer and just delete the bottom layer and then go and 
uh, search Twixtor and you just add a Twixtor here. Uh, 59.94. Click the speed 1. Put it to about 2, I would say. And then you just go to the, where the. Yeah, where the second marker comes and you split it there too. And delete, just delete the whole clip. And then what you want to do is just go and add the clip one more time. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, um, uh, like, when if you do this to the same clip, if you take Twix stores at the at different spots. Uh, then your clip is going to be like uh, it's going to be so much motion distortion in the in the video when he spins around and stuff. So that's why I'm deleting and taking a new clip. Clip and yeah, I think you can get what I'm saying. But yeah, now you just find a new spot like there. It's a good, nice spot. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going edit split layer. And then drag in the Twix store and just do the exactly same thing. Change the frame rate and then one frame and change it to two the speed. And go to the third marker. And the reason why I'm not using the shortcut Control Shift D is because uh, there's a fucking pen coming up. I don't know why. Fucking pen. Oh. Uh, okay, so drag that in again, and it's that. Oh, that's a good spot. Uh, I please uh, tell me in the comments below what you thought about this tutorial. I I think it's pretty sick, like this effect. Um, and many people don't know how to do this, so pretty surprising because it's so easy. Uh, I'm just gonna do the last one here. Um, oh, yeah, stupid. I am. Okay, I'm just gonna see. Oh shit, seven minutes. Um, okay, I'm. I'm just gonna stop there and just drag in this. Um, I will be right back. Just okay, guys, I'm back. So um, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so just don't forget to uncheck the audio. Um, but yeah, now the last clip, just go whatever you want, like there, and remember to split it. Uh, and delete. So now we got this basically like bam. Oh, I can split this too. Doesn't really want that. Okay, so now we got this real nice, and then the clip continues, and then it spins around and it shoots. Um, but you can do a lot of uh, other things to this. You can keyframe effects on the beat also where it does this so like you can click yeah, S and go to the first marker and click the scale go to R for click R for rotation and then click U to see the both keyframes and the tweak store um, is move three frames then drag up drag the scale or drag the rotation to five uh, and drag the scale up to about 135, 136, and then you just go 20, 20 or 30 frames, and then you just set everything to zero again. Yeah, you just highlight them and keyframe velocity for CS6 users. Uh, so now we got basically like it comes in so BAM and yeah maybe move this even further so just do that to all of them to make this sick ass effect 
but yeah guys I hope you will really enjoy this uh, tutorial and this effect um, I have some other uh, stuff coming out really soon that I think you will like it's it's not tutorials or I have tutorials coming out like how uh, how to uh, yeah I'm not, I'm not going to say that in this video but you will see it soon um, but I got some other cool stuff coming out so stay tuned guys and this is the fake so yeah sorry about the lag but there's nothing I can do about it so okay I'm out so um, please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah